place was Holy Redeemer Credit Union this morning. It looked like business as usual, customers coming and going, and security guards at the ready to counter threats of a criminal and even viral nature. But the calm exterior betrays nothing of the audacious attempted burglary at this robust and revered institution early on Monday morning. It happened at around 4.30 a.m., when thieves tunneled through the concrete wall, leaving a gaping hole that alarmed both the public and HRCU's member owners. And while that's how a pair of thieves got in, they had to dash out quickly when the alarm sounded. The security called to say that the alarm had gone off. So I came down, and when we opened up the office, we found that they had did penetrate the, the walls of the building in the back of the building but they were inside probably only for less than 10 or 15 seconds because of course the alarm went off. And so the footage shows them scampering to go back through the hole that they came in. They spent time making a hole in your walls. Yeah, but um, it was not using a drill or jackhammer that makes noise. It's like you said, it's more sophisticated. They use like a regular jack and just pumped and pumped and pumped till it broke the wall open. So, and that's how they were able to get in. But even before that, they were able to get in by propping this piece of zinc up against the credit union's cement fence and scaling the wall to get into the compound. After that, they broke through the wall using a jack as a tool. Not exactly mission impossible, but it does suggest some level of criminal sophistication. Reliable reports are that the burglars had scoped out the area we saw cut cables on the ground and even poisoned two dogs in a nearby yard. One of the dogs, the female, is said to have been a good watchdog who barked loudly when anything was wrong. That may have been her undoing. The burglars reportedly poisoned her with a slice of bread dipped in chicken gravy and Clorox. And despite all the effort put into this crime, it was ultimately unsuccessful. Now the good news. Nothing was stolen, correct? Nothing was stolen, no ransack, no money over the place like it was reported on social media. Everything is intact. Your money is safe at HRCU, as the press release said. Now, a warning to these thieves. If somebody thinks, okay, well, it was done once, that means we can try it again. What would you, how would you caution them? No, well, we're going to put additional cameras, additional security. I mean, a security company did their job. The alarm did not reach the company, but the, the security that were on hand called and they came over and they made the report. Sir, there are elements of this crime that leads you to think that these criminals are becoming more sophisticated. From the, the um, hole in the wall, we would want to say that these criminals are either educating themselves by watching all these CSI programs and so forth or they just watch a lot of Netflix movies. But I'm certain that our detectives are prepared for these kinds of crime. And then it's one of the first of this nature. So we don't want to leave anything, anything at all, um, any room for discrepancy. A crime of that nature, people want to go and boast. And I'm hoping that they would. That way we could um, close in on them. And how does Belize's largest credit union rebound from this shocking event? In the same way they do everything else, steadily and incrementally. We are having meetings, we're checking our security plan and we want to make sure that everything is intact, that if it ever happens again, God forbid, hopefully it doesn't, but if they ever try again, they won't be successful. They will never get into the the vault. I mean, those places are so secure. I guess they can get in and steal computers or or ransack the place, make it difficult for us. But luckily that did not happen. And we are open for business today. Sherry's Halso, 7 News.